Hi, um, good, good. How are you? Good. <laughs> awesome. I guess to start, like, do you mind just doing like a quick intro about yourself? Well, my name's Emily and I study Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery at the University of Auckland, currently in my third year. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Um, so yeah, like I kind of wanted to start from like high school. So I know you, you thought it was kind of like irrelevant because you didn't do science subjects, but um, I thought it was like, I don't know, it was interesting because it's kind of like a more unconventional path. So yeah, like what did you take in year 13? Uh, in year 13, I took Spanish, media studies, photography, music, and a like English subject called writing for publication. It was kind of like I guess like a creative writing version of like normal English. Okay, cool. Yeah. So like, I kind of did the same thing because like I didn't really know what I wanted to study. Um, so yeah, I took a lot of like random subjects, but I think it actually helped me because like then I actually realized like, oh, I don't actually want to study like tourism in uni or like media studies for uni. So yeah, like, I don't know. What do you think about that? Like, do you think year 13 is a good time to experiment with new subjects? I mean, if you know what you want to do, then like do subjects that I guess lead you into what you want to do. But I had like no idea. Yeah. Right. So I just took heaps of subjects that were things I was like interested in, thought I'd enjoy spending my time in. And I think it's not super important because like uni teaches you what you need to know. And I don't think you need to do like what everyone else does to do like the same course, I yeah. guess. Like, I don't know, it could be for any course, like commerce or arts or whatever. Like, don't think you have to take the subjects that, like, correlate to the course you want to do because quite often they don't even match up anyways. Okay, cool. Like, if that makes sense. Yeah. And we'll do um, well in. <laughs> yeah, um, true, true. Um, so when did you realise, like, you wanted to do medicine or you wanted to go down, like, that path? Um, well, I thought I wanted to do it, like, like a young teenager. And then I changed my mind because I didn't really enjoy science at school. Like it was a little bit too much. And then when I went off and did other stuff and then I thought about more about like what I wanted in my career, I guess. And medicine kind of just like ticked all the boxes. Okay. Like the sort of career I wanted to have. Cool. Cool. So yeah, cause you didn't do like chemistry and bio and stuff. Did you have to do like a course? Before yeah. You so I did a certificate at AUT in applied science. And then yeah. that's when you enrolled in, was it health science? Like yeah, Bachelor of Health Science. Yeah, I guess like because I know you go to Auckland Uni. So why did you choose Auckland over like Otago or somewhere else? Because I could stay with my dad for free. <laughs> okay, right. Um. Also, like I went to school in Auckland, so I kind of knew Auckland, and um, yeah, it's close to my family. So that's just like I guess why I chose it. No <laughs> specific reason. I also heard that the way that Otago um examines school is like quite different and quite difficult. So they assess everything in like massive exams at the end of the year. Whereas at Auckland, the med school, you're assessed like throughout the year, like every four to six weeks. So it's kind of like, it's a little, I felt like that would be a little bit more manageable. Okay, cool. So yeah, I guess you kind of, I know like you have this video on your channel where you talk about like health science versus biomed. So are you more kind of like into the writing subjects rather than kind of like hard sciences? It's not so much writing. It's the fact that I chose it because... I didn't like the pressure of heaps of tests. Oh, okay. So I liked the idea of doing something over a period of time and then handing it in. And it felt like a lot less pressure, I guess, because you can spend a little bit every day for like a month or whatever to work on an assignment and you hand it in and it's done rather than feeling built up of pressure leading up to a test, I guess. Okay. Um, and I'm not that good at writing. I actually do have to like work quite hard to like pump out writing. Like I am better at tests. Yeah. Like, performing well in tests but I just preferred it felt like less pressure doing doing like the essays and stuff because you just slowly work away at it and there's it just I guess but if you hate writing then and you love science and you love like learning memorizing stuff then biomed probably is a better option how many hours a week would you have class like this year oh maybe start from like the beginning like the first year of health science like this how year of health science, they split into two streams. So you have morning and afternoon. I was in the morning. Okay. It was about three to four hours of lectures in the morning. And then a two-hour tutorial or a three-hour lab. So I felt like I was at uni most of the day, most days. And then you have one day off or one day with, like, less class, which for me was Fridays. Okay. So 
quite a lot of class, like quite a lot of contact hours, but it's definitely manageable. Like if you just kind of treat it like a job, I guess. Okay. So yeah, I guess like after that first year, like when, um, and then you had to apply to medicine, what was that like? Like, Did you have um, like work experience or volunteering or like, did you do anything to prepare for that? I volunteered with St. John as a first responder in the ambulance team for about three years, which was good fun and exposure to a lot of different, I guess, facets of medicine and health. So I guess that helped. Just having a little bit of extra experience under my belt, going to like AUT, doing other stuff, I guess that would have helped as well as like working, like I've had a lot of jobs. So just like working in retail, working in like um, childcare, hospitality, that sort of stuff. Yeah. That might've helped. I just think that um, the most important thing for me was just like being honest to myself and when I filled out the application and stuff, but I have a feeling the application's changed since I've done it. I'm not sure you have to write as much in the application. I had to do like kind of like mini essay style things, but okay. I actually don't think you have to do that anymore. Yeah. Did you have like a day of interviews? Yeah. So I had a day of interviews. We did like eight, they called like multiple mini interviews, MMIs. Yeah. I did eight of those and one of them's like an acting station. The interviews were really good. The interviews are like the fun part of the year because you've done all the hard work. Okay. Yeah. So the interviews are just like be yourself, answer the questions honestly, be confident and like, I guess, you know, give it your best shot. Like you've done all the work, you deserve to be at the interview. So just like right. prove yeah. you're a good person, I guess. Cool, cool. Um, yeah. yeah, okay. Do you have a favorite paper or like, I don't know, any highlights that you've like of your degree so far? Highlights of my degree so far? <laughs> Hands on stuff I do at the moment. Um, super humbling getting to dissect a cadaver, like someone who's donated their body to science. Yeah. That's probably been one of the most like, surreal experiences. Favourite paper, we don't really have papers in med school per se. Like we just do one paper a year and it's like oh, split okay. and different stuff. But my favourite module so far has probably been like reproduction and development. So okay. like, kind of like female health and ageing and children's development. That's been super interesting. And I actually surprisingly really liked health psychology in first year. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, like, I guess med students, like, you guys take a lot of notes, right? So um, do you have any favorite, like, apps or techniques that you would recommend people to do? I like, use, I have an iPad, yeah. like my best friend. It's, um, I would actually, my heart would be broken if I lost it, but all my notes are on GoodNotes. So I use the app GoodNotes. Okay. I know that lots of my friends use Notability as well, but I think they're both iPad or, like, Apple apps. So a lot of my friends use one Microsoft OneNote yeah. um, to write notes. But I also have like heaps of paper notes. Like my whole desk area is full of paper notes, but I don't really do that anymore because I ran out of space to like store all my paper notes. So it's really cool having um, having them on good notes. Yeah. Yeah, would you say like most people use yeah. like iPads and stuff? Most people either have an iPad or I think it's like Surface, Microsoft Surface or Surface Pro. Like yeah. everyone, well, I don't want to say everyone, but maybe like 85 to 90% have touch screen thing. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like a tablet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I guess because people, there's kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to say reputation, but like medicine is probably one of the more competitive courses or like to get into. Um, so yeah, like how have you found it? Do you think, I don't know, like was it, did you feel like a lot of, like there was pressure or like was everyone just friendly or chill? Like how, how did you find it? I guess maybe In like. first like, year, it's definitely competitive yeah. and you hear like horror stories of people like burning your notes and deliberately ruining your labs and stealing your stuff. But like I never experienced that. A lot of people do focus on everyone else around them. Like what's happening, what are your grades, how are you doing, like you know, it's a competition, I'm going up against you, but I think I just focused on myself because like, you know, you have to get good grades. You've got to get like the best grades. So what's the point of wasting your time focusing on everyone else's grades? You might as well focus on your own and get those better. Once you're in, a lot of the sort of people who get into med school like type A personalities, which I'm not really, I'm like, I wouldn't really say I'm type, super type B, but I'm definitely not the true type A like most of med students are. And it still feels competitive once you're in, but you just have to remember that it's not about your grades anymore. It's about like, like how you learn 
and growing and developing, I guess, to become like a better health professional. Okay. And A pluses don't make the best health professionals. So for me, it's been about enjoying what I'm learning, finding balance in my life, and still like doing as good as I can, I guess, without giving up my life to do it. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering like kind of the path, like, so after you graduate, do you guys get like put into hospitals or like, how does that work? After you graduate, you do what's called PGY1 and PGY2 or like junior doctor years, oh, yeah. postgraduate year two. And from what I know, you're essentially doing different runs based on what you think you want to specialize in. So if you want to do like general surgery, you'll do like general surgery runs. Or if you want to do GP, you'll do spend more time doing like GP runs. And each run is like three to four months. Okay. You know, and you can try different stuff, see what you're interested in. If you haven't figured it out while you're in medical school. And then after PGY2, you can apply to become a registrar and train in a specialty. Radiology registrar, yeah. uh, GP registrar, etc. Or you can continue doing PGY years, like still deciding what you want to do. Um, you still get paid and you just do different runs. Um, and especially if you don't get into like your chosen specialty the first time around, you might need to do a couple more years like PGY3, PGY4 to get more experience in that area before you might be selected for a specialty because some special specialties are really competitive and right. maybe only take like one or two people a year so okay do you have any idea of like which path you want to go down i don't really know i like i have ideas but they're kind of always changing like it's funny like when i went into med school i was like i want to be a dermatologist that's my oh. dream be a dermatologist and i went in and then i was like no i want to be a radiologist no, I want to be an orthopedic surgeon. And at the moment, I think I really like OBGYN, like obstetrics and gynecology. Okay. Um, and I've liked that for like the past few months, like almost a year, I guess. I did research over summer in obstetrics and gynecology education. Okay. Um, and I enjoy it. It was my favorite subject. But like I haven't actually tried it. So I don't know. Because like I might hate it when I try it. Yeah. So I'm really open to everything but I still have ideas of what I like, but I just don't get my hopes up in case I get disappointed once I actually try it. Okay, okay this is kind of random, but I'm recently like obsessed with this guy called Ali Abdal. Have you heard oh, of him? Oh, yes, yeah. Because he makes videos on, yeah, so do you have any like YouTubers or like, kind of doctor like or like bloggers that you look up to like that? Well, I really like him. Um, He's actually blowing up recently, like huge. Yeah. But also a guy called Karma Medic. Have you heard of Karma Medic? Oh, yeah, Medic? yeah, I've seen him. Yeah. yeah. And a girl called Rachel Southard. She's a med student and I want to say Pomona, like east, uh, east of Los Angeles. Okay. She's really cool in terms of like YouTubers. I don't, yeah, I don't watch heaps of med students. There's a few, like it sounds really bad, but I can't remember their names, but I've watched a few random videos of like Australian med students okay. and they've been quite good. I know there's a couple other med students at the University of Auckland who also make videos oh yeah who, i mean they're quite cool but the karma medic and rachel southard are definitely like my two favorites that i watch all the time and when karma medic stopped posting because he was going to sit the us emily i was like no <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so yeah so like you, you obviously like you also have a youtube channel um so like do you want to speak a bit about it? Like, how did it come about? Or like, why um, about it? is it to doctor? Prior to going to med school, I thought I wanted to be like a cinematographer. Oh, okay. Extreme. <laughs> Love editing stuff. And I was like, well, if I like editing and it's kind of like relaxing, it's a hobby. I need something, videos to edit. So I was yeah. like, oh, well, I might as well like diary my life and that'll give me something to edit. It'll give me something like my friends and family to watch so I can see what I'm up to. But also it's like, I really actually enjoy like, in, in a year and two years looking back at like your di a diary of like what you're yeah, yeah. doing and it's like wow life is so different now and it's actually super cool it's like having a diary and I hate like writing a diary like pen and you're paper like <laughs> yeah so this is like I guess a way to like journal my life without okay. actually not enjoying it if that makes sense like I really enjoy filming and editing so I was like why not but exciting yeah. <laughs> you still have like three years is it three or four years yeah like Three, the, the rest of this year and then three more years uh, okay so yeah, you just, weren't because like for me the idea of being in uni for like seven or eight years is just like I don't know it just seems like too much but like 
Did that like not phase you or you were just like? I think I, if, if I look at the big picture, it's definitely overwhelming, but I just have to like make small goals and just like look towards those rather than like looking just at the end picture. Um, it's definitely like I feel bored of actual like lectures and stuff now, like I'm over it, but this is my last year of lectures and I'm kind of like, oh my goodness, I'll never do this again. So like try and make the most of it, even though it's like all online, whatever. Yeah. And the next year, the next three years, we're all clinical in the hospital. So I don't have any more proper uni, I guess. Oh, it's right. So the last few years, is it just kind of like all practical? So we do like runs. So next year I'm in at Waikato Hospital and we do like, I start in orthopedics. And then go like general surgery, anesthesiology, GP, like primary care. Then we do like general medicine, specialty medicine and geriatrics. That's like my year cool. next year. <laughs> yeah, um, well, that's pretty much all my questions. Oh, I guess, do you have any final advice? Like if someone's watching this like in high school and they want to do med? I guess do research, make sure it's for you. Don't just watch Grey's Anatomy. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like Grey's Anatomy what's, is what made me want to be a doctor. And oh, it's really? like really not like that at all. But um, I guess do your research and make sure it's what you're passionate about. Like yeah. you should do what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about like art, do art, you know, because like you'll always make a career of what you're passionate about. Right. You will never make a career if it's something that you you just think you should be doing but like don't know if you like it or not so yeah and also if you don't like science in school that doesn't mean you won't be enjoyed at university because it's really different all my friends are like oh my god this is nothing like nca nca didn't prepare me at all yeah and you learn like a lot more like real world application i guess so don't stress if you don't like english and science at school because university in my standing I'm like what you do in school so like yeah, and then you have to be willing, I guess, if you want to do medicine, you need to be willing to dedicate a whole year of your life to first year. Yeah, for sure. And just give it everything you have, everything yes. you've got, and then you'll know at the end, if you get in or if you don't, mm -hmm. that you actually gave it your best shot. Right. I mean, you can always, you can get through, like, post-grad as well, eh? Yeah, you can do post-grad, but you still want to give everything in first year. Like, don't just ride on post-grad because there's less post-grad spots for entry, if that makes sense. Like, there's a lot more spots for people after first year than there is post-grad, and you need to maintain that really high average throughout your whole degree to do okay. post-grad. I'll yeah. say post-grad's harder, but I don't know, I didn't do post-grad. <laughs> okay, cool, well, yeah, thanks so much. Um, I'll leave like your links down below so everyone go follow Emily and <laughs> subscribe.